Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This time around, I'm going to be doing, doing a review for Scream Season 2. Yes, Season 2 finally came out. And it's going to be Season 2, Episode 1, I Know What You Did Last Summer. So yeah, that's the name of the episode. I'm not reviewing the movie, I'm reviewing the episode. Um, episode, and that's the episode's name, I Know What You Did Last Summer. So yeah, really happy Scream came back, the Scream TV show. Really happy it came back. Um, really, really fast. I really liked the first season. Um, and hopefully this season two looks interesting right off the bat. Um, so yeah. Before I begin though, ten second spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually watch the episode or haven't already. Stop the video. Go check it out and come back and watch the rest of this review. Ten second spoiler warning as usual. Starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already, please don't comment down below or be messaging me, that I never give you a fair warning, because as usual, I did. So as usual, um, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rate. So basically, we have um, Emma, and it seems like she's, she went to like a psychiatric ward, or she went somewhere to get to get help, um, mental help, um, because it seems like... After the events of season one, she had like mental problems. She was going through like PTSD. She just wasn't re really feeling right. So it seems like she kind of went away for for three months. That's how long they say in the episode. So it seems like they went. She went away for three months and you know just to make you know to make sure she's all good mentally. And then when this episode starts, you know she comes back or she's coming back to um to Lakewood to to the town. And all of a sudden, the murders are going back up all over again. Um, Noah thinks that whoever is killing now may be Piper's accomplice. Thing is, that Piper's accomplice, the one up, we don't know if there was more accomplices, um, more people who helped Piper, we don't know, but we know that there was at least one, and that was Audrey. Okay, thing is, Audrey is kind of, I wouldn't say she regrets it, per se, but she is haunted by the fact that she helped Piper. Piper, um, so... Yeah, it definitely doesn't look like Audrey yet. Um, we don't know what's gonna happen. So yeah, and that's basically it for now. We have we have a death right off the bat. Jake, I, I, that, that was the character's name, right? Jake, Jacob. Um, basically that was um the blonde girl's boyfriend. Um, Brittany, Bree, Bree. The, the blonde girl's name was Bree. So yeah, I mean one of the things I kind of hate about it. Hey, um, not really hate, but I did. One of the things I think that the it could improve upon is just making the characters a bit more memorable, or at least their names. Like I sometimes forget their names from time to time. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, you have Jake who died at the end with the he he got a pretty gruesome death, like the, the new ghost face killer or whatever. Um, he got like a scythe and just well, actually, first off he put him in a bear trap, um, and captures him in a bear trap. Then he makes a, then he locks him up in the barn. Um, makes him escape the barn, and then he recaptures him to basically cut him up with a scythe. That was pretty, like, holy shit, what the fuck? So, yeah. Um, I mean, and it doesn't, uh, right now, it doesn't really seem like anybody else knows that Jake's gone missing. Because, um, he, he broke up with Bree in the beginning of the episode, so they're like, ah, he's just doing his own shit, you know, how he, he always is, he's just bullshitting around, we'll find him later. So, yeah, and then you have, you know, everybody's kind of dealing with the events of Season 1. We get a lot of nods to Season 1, you know, or you know, mention of what happened to Season 1, you know, with, um, you know, with, the, with, the, with Kieran's dad, yeah, with Kieran's dad dying, um, with the death of Piper, um, some stuff that happened with Bree's dad and the legal issues after they found a dead body. So, you know, we do get a lot of nods to Season 1. Um, we do have a couple new characters um right off the bat in season two we get this new we have this um this um kind of like almost like a current situation kind of not really um new um new student at the school with a new dad who just happens to be the head officer pretty similar to Kieran the only difference is that Kieran is attractive and not a creep whereas this new guy is dorky and a creep so yeah um and then we also get this new girl who. Also, kind of lo looks to be on Noah's level, and yeah, overall for first episode, it was pretty cool. I will say that, but it didn't really wow me. I, I, I don't want to say it didn't really wow. Like it, I liked the episode and I thought it was really good, but for premiere, I do think it could have been a bit better. Um, 
like, they investigate one of uh, this, like, barn house. That was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty cool. Um, cool when she's in the house and whatever. But I think they could have upped up the ante a, a bit more. Um, you know, maybe at the end, you know, maybe at the end they could have, you know, wondered where the fuck is um this guy, Jake. You know, where the fuck is he? Um, so, yeah, I mean, the beginning, though, the beginning was... I thought the beginning was, like, fucking stupid, though. Um, like, it begins with, like, one of those things, like, it's a movie within a TV t show type of situation. So, you're watching the TV show, but then within the TV show, the characters are watching a movie. And that was really stupid, in my opinion. Um, like, it was, like, obvious foreshadowing, in my opinion, so it was kind of really stupid. Um, but the stuff that kind of happened afterwards with Audrey, that was pretty cool. But at the same time, it's not really a good way to start the episode, in my opinion. Overall, good episode, could have been better, could have been worse, that's, it's a pretty good episode, um, as a premiere, it is a bit of a letdown, um, it is a bit forgettable, um, surprisingly, um, because aside from the stuff with Jake, I can't, uh, aside from the stuff with Jake, and aside from the stuff, uh, aside from the stuff with Jake, and the fact that Emma's kind of going through this kind of PTSD type of situation, I can't really remember much of the episode, and I literally, and I watched this maybe a few hours ago, so, um, I mean, Scream, I'm not going to say Scream is the, the, the TV series. Uh, I'm not going to say it's the most memorable TV show ever out there, but it's at least, um, I feel like this episode was more forgettable than it should. Like, most of the episodes from season one, yeah, they're pretty forgettable as well, um, to a certain extent. But at least I remember uh, a lot of stuff from season one. Um, here, the first episode, for some reason, I'm like, I'm blinking out. Like, I'm just naming off the major stuff, so... I don't know, maybe I'll have to rewatch it again. Still a good episode, nevertheless. I do think, it, um, at least for a premiere, it could have been better, okay? And, yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being decent, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Um, again, good episode, could have been better for a premiere, but, you know, that's all I'm saying. And, yeah, again, I'm really happy um, it's back on. And, yeah, we oh, by the way, we also get Audrey. She's getting creepy texts. Texts from this guy we don't know from the new killer, so... That, that, there's that, um, yeah, again, that's basically it for now, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer, and that's basically it for now, this is Daniel Mart, signing off.